Bold flavors, bold photos, bold vegan. I got a chance to sit down with the bold authors Molly and Luann, who will inspire you to get in the kitchen and bring to life the bold vegan in you. Hey guys, it's Michelle from veganbreak.com and I'm really thrilled to be here with Molly Patrick. Hi guys. She is the author of this amazing new cookbook called Bold Vegan. She's also the co-author of Bold Vegan Food of Southeast Asia. And um, yeah, tell me a little bit about what inspired you to write this book. Well, we started with our first book, Bold Vegan, uh, Food of Southeast Asia, as just sort of a side project. Uh, my girlfriend and I wrote it. Um, we just wanted something to do after work and on the weekends and really loved, I love cooking, she liked to style the photographs and it was just a really fun kind of hobby for us. Uh, we wrote our second one just because we wanted to keep doing it and mm -hmm. we had so much fun doing the first one that we just thought why not do another one. We have the recipes in us and um, we just decided to go for it. Yeah, and I got a chance to look through the cookbook um, and it is just like the most beautiful, authentic, um, rustic looking recipes. And we actually got to try one today. Um, you guys made the buckwheat lime um, coconut crepes. crepes. Yeah, they're amazing. And that's a perfect recipe to show that it's like a little twist on something that you wouldn't normally think, oh, I'm gonna put some lime on my crepes. And it was just delicious. The flavors and everything are so amazing. So the idea of this book was to really do like classic kind of comfort food and not just like Western comfort food, but also like Asian comfort food and different, mm -hmm. you know, different food from different regions, um, but keep that really like comfort food thing in mind. I think that all of them are pretty unique. Um, creamy Alfredo pasta with mushrooms, kale and onions is really good. Um, a lot of these recipes, people who maybe eat meat or eat dairy would be really fooled by them just because they taste they taste really good and they're very familiar and comforting. Mm -hmm. What I also love is that it, the way the book is organized, like you have a section for people who are like for a time when you don't have a lot of time to put something mm -hmm. together. So mm -hmm. it's like quick and easy snacks. And then you also rate each recipe as like um, one out of five or four out of five in terms of difficulty, which is mm -hmm. really helpful for um, yeah, people who may want, you know, something easier to make or yeah. a little bit more of a project. So sure. that's really cool. Yeah. And sometimes I think when people are in their kitchen getting ready to make dinner, they have a recipe and they don't, maybe they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Mm -hmm. And they start on the recipe and they're like, oh shit, it's going to take me you know, two hours to do this. I wasn't expecting that. So I just wanted to set the, like people's expectations with each recipe about as clearly as I could, as far as, you know, the time that it's going to take and how difficult it is. Yeah. To make. Yeah, I mean, I just have to say, you can totally tell looking at this book that it's a passion project, you know? Because you like quit your job and you wanted mm -hmm. to make this happen and you moved away and you just spent how many months like working on, develop on developing all these recipes? Seven months. It took, well, let's see, I was away for seven months. It took about five solid months of working from about nine, nine in the morning to six at night. So it was a full time job, seven days a week, pretty much. And it was, it was um, a project of passion and we really put, we had a great time doing it and we just put kind of our hearts into it and just, um, you know, had, had a lot of fun with it. So it's, it was really a um, unique and fun, fun experience. Yeah, sure. and you have a background in photography too, mm -hmm. so you were able to apply that. and That helped. Yeah. So all the student <laughs> loans that I pay for every month, and I finally feel justified paying Sally May back. <laughs> Um, and I have to say, like, I'm someone who I have all of these vegan cookbooks, but a lot of them don't have a lot of photos in them. And mm -hmm. if I don't see a photo with the recipe, I'm never inspired enough to make yeah. it. But all yeah. I need is like a picture and be like, okay, now that's what I'm craving. Sure. Like I'm, sure. my mouth's already watering and then yeah. that's what gets me to go and actually um, make things. So I'm so excited to start, start cooking from this cookbook and um, you guys can find out more what's your website our website is boldvegan.com mm -hmm. and you can find our blog that we post lots of recipes uh, every week you can also sign up for our newsletter that we post uh, or that we email a couple of times a month with recipes tips inspiration all that good stuff um, so yeah boldvegan.com you can also purchase um, this book and our first book on the website itself and they're available in instant download or um, the hard or the physical copy mm -hmm. as well and if anyone's looking for last minute holiday gifts, those instant download yeah. cookbooks work <laughs> wonderfully. And that's the version that I have. I have it on my computer and it's awesome. You can easily search it and the pictures are just so vibrant. So 
And we'll give you a coupon code for all of your uh, oh, viewers and your audience. Awesome. So. I will leave it in uh, the comments below this video. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been so fun to have you over this morning. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. If you want to check out more bite-sized vegan videos, you can find them at veganbreak.com. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. We actually took the uh, shots of the actual uh, dish when it was finished. We didn't like spray stuff or make it yeah, more lovely than it already is. Yeah.